Welcome to our Leadership Mastery Series. We, the Valiner Couple, thought of sharing with you leadership success principles which you can actually use either as a professional, entrepreneur, or business owner. For our second episode entitled Real Talk with a Lady Boss, we have invited Ms. Charity Delmo of Ideal Visa Consultancy to share about how it is to be a lady boss. In this first video, we have interviewed Charity to talk about what are the top qualities of a lady boss. Um, when it comes to qualities, no? Ang dami kasi ng mga businessman na parang sasabihin sa atin is, so you have to be like this ha, for you to own a business. You have to be like that for your people to follow you. No? Um, when in fact, people will start looking at you as a leader when you are there when it's uncomfortable, when you are there when it's unlikely to be there. No, yun ang pinaka acid test of being a leader. Technically ang sasabi ng tao when you think about your people all the time, no? When you don't forget yourself, when you take care of yourself for you to take care of your people. Um that's another thing and lastly for you to be just true to yourself because being truthful with whatever your situation is will help you gain people not only to follow you but to understand you and they will carry with them the same kind of um, passion and characteristics when they already have their own people. A lot kasi of businessmen, if I may share and if I may continue, they will create a lot of stories na I, I'm like this and, and you have to follow me. Um, I, I am seemingly perfect, di ba? And kapag nalaman mo na yung totoo, at the end of the day pala, they're just, you know, um, humans, no? Flying, <laughs> having problems, uh, nagmumura din, nagkakamali, na may downfall sila sa buhay. If you can stay, if you can be, if you can be that kind of truthful, then I believe that you can really be a good leader. Wow. So, these are the kind of characteristics na nagdala din sa akin to really grow my business. Madali kasi mag-pretend to be a leader. Pero, just like this pandemic, this is a good acid test of leaders. No? Yeah. The question is, asang ka ngayon? Are you as the nag, nagiging frontliner ka ba sa crisis ngayon or you're just sitting at the back telling people what to do? No. So for me these are the characteristics of um leaders talaga that um I've grown to be as a person as I grow my business as well. Awesome. Uh totoo yung sinabi mo no, that a uh, true test of a leader being there mm -hmm. when it's really uncomfortable yeah uh, especially when the organization or the team actually uh, needed you because of uh, what the situation dictates no uh, parang yun nangyayari sa iyo ngayon nandiyan ka sa manila <laughs> diba uh, it would exactly. be more comfortable uh, to every resources available in yes. you right now nandiyan uh, uh, of course, running all of your branches, uh, not just here in the Philippines, but also abroad, mm -hmm. uh, where yes. you are right now, there in Manila. So I mm -hmm. really admire you for really stepping up into that uh, uncomfortability or the discomforts of being and a leader. Very. So, naman yan, diba? Experience the discomfort first so that it will be easier for uh, the members of their team mm -hmm. later on as they, they go along. Yeah, and uh, so, for me, what I got from your answer, Cha, was really being authentic and vulnerable in terms of how you lead others. Not really pretending that you are perfect, tama? And at the same time, parang uh, superhero ka all the time, rescuing your people or your team, knowing naman na ikaw mismo, you really have to take care of yourself first before yes. you can take care of yourself. Yeah. 
just to add on your line, no, coach, um, and in our vulnerability, that's where you really find your true people. Mm. Sino ang kayang sumunod sa iyo at hindi ka iiwan sa mga times na hindi mo na kaya at sukong suko ka na. So uh-huh. it's it's parang two-way relationship yan between leaders and um their followers. I love that. Yeah, true. Uh, sabi nga nila, vulnerability is not a sign of weakness, but it is really a sign yes. of uh, the strength that is in uh, in a leader, di ba? Mm. Uh, because if we're going mm-hmm. to define that, uh, it's really being able to courageously open up and be mm-hmm. transparent on what you are mm-hmm. going through, uh, but at the same time being able to uh, rally your team or your people behind you so that you can really move forward with Uh, mm-hmm. success in in the organization perfect